Hey, it's Mo. I am feeling a little underdressed actually <laughs> because today I'm going to be reviewing a, a Charlotte Tilbury product, which is, you know, I always consider quite fancy and expensive. Um, and it is the Instant Look in a Palette Gorgeous Glowing Beauty. This is the new one for holiday 2019. They've been around for a few years, a different one each year, and I've never purchased one before because they're $75, which is a lot of money. This one I thought particularly, as it might be useful to you, and because I was certainly interested in the colors, I thought I would try this one and see, is it worth $75? This is the outer packaging which I think is really beautiful. I really, really like this particular packaging and the iridescence. I like the deep maroon color, which um, is not uncommon for Charlotte Tilbury in the starburst that has kind of an art deco vibe to me. And then the packaging on the um, compact, if you wanna call it that, the palette, I guess you, itself is the same, except I find it even prettier. I can't tell you how many times I've picked this up just to play with it in the light, like in my room or whatever, because I just, I'm just kind of mesmerized by it to be completely honest. So this is the outside packaging. Uh, the back looks like this. It's set up as the other instant look in a palette versions have been. So there's three eyeshadows, there's two cheeks, there's a bronzer and a highlight. And we'll see that as we open it up here. I do want to talk about the size of these items uh, also just so you get a sense of that. So here are the colors. Burgundy, mauve, somewhat brown, leaning. Um, so that's going to be number one are, are those colors of interest to you the rose and mauve and those kinds of shades are really right up my alley So that's why this also made sense. I think for me to get this year um, so in terms of Sizes, what do you get for $75? These three are eyeshadows these two are at least according to what they're calling them These are the cheek colors and then this of course is the bronzer and this is the highlight So all of the square pans are two grams each um, for an eyeshadow, two grams is pretty big. Uh, the standard size is about one gram. In fact, I brought some examples just because sometimes it's hard to know, like, well, what's average or whatever. So, for example, the e.l.f. Uh, Earth and Ocean palette. Let's just look at that. And this is the same size as their Opposites Attract palette and the New Neutrals palette. These are one gram each. So each of these eyeshadows is one gram. So there's one example. Another example that might be useful to you is ColourPop. I pulled one of their nine pan palettes because they come out with a nine pan palette like every two days. These are also one gram. So the shadows in here are two grams each, twice as much as the ones I just showed you. So the, the eyeshadows are definitely an excellent, excellent size and larger than normal. The bronze and the highlight are six grams each. Here's a comparison for that. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronzed and Glow. These are not the same shades that are in the smaller palette that I'm talking about today, but just from a size comparison, those were eight grams each. These are six grams each. So those are really good size, especially for a palette that's this compact. I was kind of amazed that the face colors were that large. Now here's where um, they're kind of losing size compared to a full-size product. The cheek products are two grams each. So a MAC blush is six grams. That is three times as much as the blushes, I'm gonna call them, in here. So the eyeshadows, larger than typical eyeshadows, the bronze and highlight are, they're still smaller than if you bought the individual compact with bronze and highlight, but this, they're so really generous. The cheek colors is where you're not going to get as much as you would if you bought them individually or something like that. So I just really wanted to give you that size comparison because this is such a compact palette and it is expensive. And you know, depending on how you want to use it, how do you feel about that amount that you're getting? Just from a value perspective, if you're trying to figure out dollars versus grams and that kind of thing, is it worth it? I want you to have that information. For me, I'm really pleased that the eyeshadows are so large that these two face products are so generous. I do wish the cheek, in fact, in my perfect world, it would be the eyes, the bronzer highlight, one cheek color that's the same size as these. That's how I would design it but I'm not Charlotte Tilbury and I will not tell her what to do. Let's do the stuff you're probably waiting for, which is swatches. And I'm gonna do a full face look today. I've also worn this a couple of other times. This is not a first impressions, this is a full review. And let's get on with those swatches. So this is set up very much like many of Charlotte Tilbury's other eye quads, or she has her own name. She doesn't name the shadows or the colors specifically. She has a category, so we've got 
Enhance, which is kind of the base shade, I guess, Smoke and Brighten. That's how she delineates hers. So let's go into these. They feel beautiful. I've already used these, as I've said, so I'm kind of familiar with how they feel. And I always dip, I don't over dip in when I'm doing swatches at all. I probably, oh, look at that. I hardly dipped into that thing. That's impressive. I mean, I already know that because I used it, but <laughs> I didn't know it swatched that pretty. But it did. So very, there's the three eyeshadows. Here are the two cheek colors. So when Charlotte does her, you know, single pan um, blushes, there's usually the swish color, which kind of goes here, and then the pop just goes on the apple of the cheek. Swish and pop. And these are a pleasure to swatch because <laughs> they feel so nice. So swish and pop. So those are the che cheek shades. Here's the highlight. There's the bronze. This has just a touch more peach in it than the Brighten shade right here from the eye colors. So these are all the colors in the palette. Three eye colors, two cheek colors, and then the highlight and the bronzer, that's everything. These are all powders in pans. You don't have to follow anyone's directions on where you use them on your face. Um, if you want to, if it's easier for you to stick to, these are the eyes, these are the cheeks, that's the bronzer, that's the highlight, awesome because this takes a lot of the thinking out of it but don't feel uh, constrained by that if you want to put this in your crease if you want to put this all over your lid if you want this to be your highlight if you want this you could use this for a very deep blush don't you know if you want to get more looks out of this palette don't be afraid to use those things in different places it's you know it's entirely up to you how you use it i've already done a couple of looks with this one and i'm going to insert pictures uh, and just give you an idea of those. So I'm gonna do one that's, again, a little bit different today. I think I'm gonna put the Enhance just all over my lid today and do almost a one shadow look. I'm just using kind of a, kind of a flat packing brush. This is from Wayne Goss. And I'm just gonna, I do have lid primer on, by the way. But that's just foundation and lid primer is all I have today. This is going on very easily. I intended to do the face products first, but I got excited and I'm doing the eyes first, but that's okay. So even this has a touch of red in it. And I think they described it actually as kind of a mauve brown when I looked on the Charlotte Tilbury website. And like I said, doing a very basic, simple eye that could get you out the door quickly. Something I'm usually a fan of, certainly on a weekday when I'm getting ready for work. But this just goes on beautifully. It feels quite effortless. Um, and I'm just, using, I'm just using the other side of that brush even to kind of blend it right here. saving a little bit of time. So that's just the enhanced shade right here. This is the enhanced shade, that's all I have on. I imagine you'd like to see some other colors, so I'm going to use the Brighten shade, which is right here, on my finger, just in the center here, so you can see how it performs. Very pretty, very shimmery. Shimmery, not glittery at all. And that was two colors, extremely quick, not much to that. So you could do that. You know, you could deepen it up with the smoke shade if you want to. You could line with any of these colors. You could use these on your eyes. Again, just, you know, the world is your oyster. Do what you wish <laughs> with this palette. So I'm going to do the face colors, and um, we'll start with the bronzer. Now, I am not a big fan of bronzer. I don't really care for bronzer. I particularly don't care for bronzer that has shimmer in it, which this does. So I was like, hmm. I'm just using my e.l.f. Uh, complexion brush, and if I narrow it, it fits right in that pan. That works fine for me. Um, and yes, I'm using e.l.f. with Charlotte Tilbury, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm very surprised by this bronzer because I like it. 
Genuinely, I genuinely like this bronzer. I don't know why I like this bronzer. I feel like I shouldn't like this bronzer because it has shimmer and it's a bronzer, <laughs> which I typically do not care for on my skin. I think it kind of ages me, actually. At least that's how I always feel about it. But this, maybe it's because it has a slight bit of shimmer. I really like this bronzer. And it blends so easily. I do not feel like it's getting stuck where I place it. I'm just blending it, blending it easily. This is not taking me any effort at all. What's interesting is that I don't feel like when I look in the mirror, I look like, ugh, I have bronzer on. I feel like, how come my makeup looks good today? That's how I felt the couple of days that I've worn this. I'm like, why does my makeup look so pretty today? I'm like, oh, I'm wearing bronzer, but it doesn't look like I'm wearing bronzer. It's like the perfect thing. Cheeks, I'm gonna do a little differently. So this one is designated as the swish, and this is designated at the pop. I'm gonna reverse those. I'm gonna put this one, this is my e.l.f. blush brush. I'm gonna put this one kind of all over, and then I'm, ooh, <laughs> I may have dipped in a bit much there. <laughs> Perhaps I should not talk while I'm trying to do this. I forgot. <laughs> I've already used this and I forgot how pigmented it is. So I guess the one, you know, the pan size for the cheeks is small compared to most blushes. So that's something that, you know, you wanna know up front. But I will say, you don't need a lot of it. <laughs> Lots of pigment in there. And I'm one of those people that I feel like blush absolutely disappears on me or doesn't show up on me. Um, and that has not been the case with this. At the end of the day, I still have color on my cheeks, which kind of fascinates me, because I don't understand. Why doesn't all blush do that? This blush does. And then the swish color, I mean, actually popped just right here on the apple, which just gives me the teensiest bit of glow. Now I didn't put the highlighter on. I wanted you to see it without it. When I reversed those cheek colors, you can see a bit of a bit of shimmer here. But I thought you might want to see the highlighter apply. I'm putting a brush in there. And there we go. I've mentioned before I'm not looking for a highlighter I can see from space. I'm looking for a highlighter that kind of, you know, not blinding, just an attractive kind of glow right on my cheekbone. So there's everything on. I wanted to show you in the simplest terms, okay, what can you do pretty quickly with this palette? I think this is really a little gem. It's expensive, $75 is a lot of money, but I'm a big fan of all-in-one palettes. And if I can find an all-in-one palette where every single color works for me, first of all, that's quite rare. Um, but second of all, it's that's worth a lot to me because I will use it and I will use it and I will use it. And not only do the colors work, but the formulas are so nice and they stay on me all day. Really, really, really pleased and impressed with this. I don't regret that I haven't bought the other ones in the past. I think maybe I was just waiting for the right color combination for me, which this certainly is, but the product performance is just absolutely outstanding. I just want you to see what the colors look like and the finish and how quick that was. And how happy I am. So Charlotte Tilbury, instant look in a palette, gorgeous glowing beauty, the new holiday, uh, I call it an all-in-one uh, palette for 2019. I absolutely adore this. I really, really do. And if it's something that you think you get a lot of use out of, and it's something you feel you can put your money toward and you would like that, that's great. Um, and if this is way out of your price range, that's absolutely fine too. I don't ever want to pressure anyone. I don't particularly want to influence anyone. I want to educate and just tell you, here's what it is, here's what it costs, here's what I think. And I really hope that was helpful because that is my only purpose here. Uh, thank you for hanging out and talking makeup with me. I absolutely love this stuff. And I hope you're having a good day and I will talk to you soon.